In this episode, we're going to talk about something called if, else, and else if statements inside PHP. And these are actually something you're going to use quite often when you do actually write PHP code inside a website. So let's actually go ahead and talk about a coding example where we do actually write out the code. And then afterwards, I'll explain to you guys how we can use this inside a website. So as you guys can see right now, we do actually have a variable called x, which is equal to 1. Now underneath here, we're actually going to go ahead and write our if else statements. So basically the idea behind if else statements is that we can say if something specific is true, then do this. If something else is true, then do this instead. So we can actually go ahead and write an if statement by saying if parentheses curly brackets. So basically inside the parentheses, we're going to put we're going to put the condition which needs to be true in order to do whatever's inside the curly brackets. So inside the parentheses, we can actually say if variable x is the same as one, you know, is equal to one, then write echo string. And then we can say Daniel is very handsome. Now, if this is true, which is actually is right now, I can actually go inside my browser, refresh, and you guys can see it does actually say Daniel is very handsome. Now, let's say that x is 2 or something else. It doesn't have to be 2. It can be anything other than 1. Right now, it's not going to do anything inside the browser because we're only checking if this is true, then do this. Now, in order to do something if something else is true other than what we wrote in here, we can write what is called an else statement where we say, if anything else is true, do this. And we can actually go ahead and take the echo, just kind of copy it, put it down here. And we can actually say Daniel is very ugly, which of course wouldn't actually be true. But let's actually say we have Daniel is very ugly down here. So in this case, we would actually go inside the browser and you guys will see it does actually say Daniel is very ugly. Now, this is all good and fun. But let's actually say we want to check if there is more conditions other than the if statement that needs to be true in order to do something else. We can actually write something called an else if statement. So if we actually go in between the if and else statement, we can actually move the else statement down a little bit. We can write something called an else if parentheses curly brackets. And then this works essentially the same way as our if statement. So if I do actually copy my x variable up here inside the if statement, put it inside my else if statement and change this one to two, we can actually write something, you know, we can echo out something else instead of Daniel's very handsome. You can say Daniel is kinda handsome. So in this case, since it's actually equal to two up here in the x variable, it will in fact say Daniel is kinda handsome. So we can actually change this variable up here back and forward in order to actually change the text. Now, you might be asking, well, what can we actually use this for inside a real website? Well, let's actually say you have a login system inside your website and you're locked in. Now, based on if you're locked in or not, we can actually go in and check, is Daniel in fact locked in? Okay, he is. So if he is locked in, we can actually go ahead and echo out a maybe an image, a profile image up in the corner of the website because he is in fact locked in. Kind of like when you're on Facebook, if you're actually locked in, you can actually go to a user page that's your user page. So these are certain ways we can actually check this sort of thing. Now, we can also, if you want to add more statements, you can actually go ahead and just copy your else if statement and paste it below here many times and change these from, you know, three, four, blah, blah, blah. And then we also have the default one saying else, you know, if anything else other than all these statements, then do this down here. So these are the basic ways you can do, you know, basic checks with if, else if, and else statements. Now, if you actually have a lot of statements, we can also write something called a switch. And we'll actually talk about that in the next episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.